My name is Nick DeLorenis, and I've been a member of ARMA International since 1999. My name is Komal, and I've been a member of ARMA since I can't remember, but probably since 1992 and going forward, ever since I've been in the profession of records and information management. My name is Doug Allen, and I'm a member of ARMA International. My name is Julie Colgan, and I've been an ARMA International member since 2003. My name is Fred Pozzello, and I've been a member of ARMA International for 15 years. It was suggested to me that it would be a good idea to be involved in the profession that I stepped into uh, by one of my most favorite mentors, and I thought that if I was going to be in a profession, why not be involved in the profession? Just as a chemist would be involved in a chemical society, a, a records and information professional should be involved in a records and information profession. I'm a member of ARMA International because uh, as a practitioner in the uh, records and information management profession, uh, it's, an, uh, it's a place that I can go and meet my peers who are doing the same thing that I'm doing, facing the same challenges that I am, and also stay current with what's going on uh, in the industry, what's going on with regulations, and to bring value to my employer and more specifically to help me advance my career. Now, I've been a member of ARMA International for quite a while. Uh, first reason I would say was continued education and records and information management. ARM is really the best place to go for that. The second reason is that I'm one of those who believes that you may have several jobs over the years, so it's the responsibility of the individual, for me it's myself, to ensure that I've got a network that really supports my career throughout however long I choose to work. So the networking aspects of ARMA were certainly foremost in my mind after the education. And then the last piece I'd say was that we all have jobs that in some ways may limit our development because they are not the CEO job that we would like to have one day. So for me, it's given me an opportunity to provide for my own leadership development skills. So I'd say education, networking, and leadership development. The networking is probably the main benefit that, that I've drawn out of uh, my participation in ARMA, particularly uh, being part of the leadership and part of the volunteer uh, organization. And you just meet people who are doing the same things that you've been doing, people who are doing things you, you think you might want to try, and you just reach out to them. And the uh, thing about ARMA is it's also, culturally, it's a very uh, accepting organization. People, you can call somebody up and say, hi, I'm a member of ARMA, I have a question, and you'll get an honest answer. I think for me, the way that uh, the peer-to-peer -peer networking worked is I saw different professionals react to different kinds of situations with diplomacy uh, and tact, and perhaps maybe that was something I felt that I was lacking. I needed to build a better awareness of how to handle those different people working with them and talking to them about how to handle uh, pushing out a new program. Um, the senior management came back and said, no, we're not going to do that. How do they handle that? Because this is something you really knew the company needed. And learning from them the different tactics and the different ways to approach it by pointing out pieces of information that ARMA International offers, as well as articles, um, benchmarking, again, as mentioned before, benchmarking opportunities uh, in that kind of an aspect. It's usually a very easy thing to do, pick up the phone and call somebody, and ARMA makes it very easy with the membership directory and everything that we can get in there. We can, uh, I can search on members that uh, I'm looking for in a specific sector, or I can talk to people for specific com companies, or um, sometimes we're dealing with international issues. We don't do that very often at State Farm, but we do have business in Canada, and uh, I have a lot of access to folks that I can get to through the Canadian, uh, the Canadian region and the folks I've met through there. So it's a great, it's a great tool and it facilitates a lot of that process for me. When I wanted to learn about specific aspects of, say, a retention schedule or information management, I focused on those very basic records management techniques. Today in my career, some 25 years later, I'm more in the strategic planning sort of an arena, and I want to know what are the risks that my company has and what am I able to do to prevent those risks, and how do I present that to my senior management to make sure that it, it is eliminated. It gives me a platform to share my ideas. Um, as I said, I've been involved in, in volunteer leadership for many years as well in the association. And uh, so for me, I think that that's lend, lent me um, perhaps some increased insight into some, some other aspects of leadership that I don't necessarily get at work. So working with volunteer teams and um, working with association leadership, those are all new experiences for me that I've now been able to leverage at my work for myself. 
but one of the best things that they ever asked me to do was present at my local chapter. And when I did that, it kind of affirmed, you know, it was a scary thing the first time, but actually people listened, got a lot of good feedback, and it's like, wow, I do know what I'm talking about. And it kind of built that confidence. So I think as you're starting out, it gives you the opportunity to, to build your confidence in terms of what you do know and validate that against others in a very informal setting. A lot of times you can do it over lunch uh, at the meeting. You don't even talk about it during the meeting, but it's just people you're standing around, whether you have happy hours or whatever associated with your meetings or if you have get-togethers afterwards. Um, it's a great opportunity to just kind of bend the ear of somebody. Somebody's always introducing you to somebody new that they brought to the meeting and they want you to kind of get to know. So it builds your community involvement depending where your chapters are at and uh, it kind of leads you into that next step. And if you get involved in leadership, I mean region leadership and expose me to a lot of folks that, that I have re readily access to uh, driving wise and everything. I get together with them from, uh, from time to time to meet with them and, and work on some specific issues. So it's a great opportunity. I think the value of my own chapter membership early in my career was um, you know, people always say, oh, I was really shy. Maybe I wasn't so sure of myself, but at that chapter level, I was able to explore an opportunity to uh, build a small leadership base. And then from there, uh, my corporation encouraged me to continue on uh, because they saw that this was another, like I said, a free learning opportunity for them, as well as a good uh, expansion of my abilities and a demonstration of them as well. In our profession, we obviously have a need to stay on top of what's going on, what changes there are to regulations, what advances there are in technology. Uh, we need to be able to network with others who do what we do. And honestly, Arm International is the best source, in my opinion, to gain education and experience in all those areas.